second sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy. We have a go for main engine start. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens and opening new gateways for international science. Discovery has cleared the tower. Houston now controlling. Roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It's now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Discovery seven miles downrange at an altitude of two statute miles. Flying at 600 miles per hour. Discovery's engines are throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Now 50 seconds into the flight. Discovery eight miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of six statute miles. Flying at 900 miles per hour. Discovery Houston, go with throttle up. Copy, go with throttle up. The three engines on board are throttling back up. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was 6,425,000 pounds. Discovery now 13 miles downrange at an altitude of 13 statute miles, flying at 1,700 miles per hour. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. Discovery now 24 miles downrange at an altitude 23 statute miles, flying at 2,700 miles per hour. One minute 58 seconds into the flight, standing by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. The booster officer here in Mission Control confirming the booster separation. 